Welcome to the RS Info TV channel. Before going to the topic, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and press the bell icon to get notification about my new videos. Manually on rooting, open a root file manager on your device. There are lots of different file managers available on the Play Store that you can use to browse your Android device's root files. Popular file managers include Root Browser, ES File Explorer, and Explore File Manager. For this video we are using ES File Explorer. Open ES File Explorer, find and press System Bin. Find and delete the file named SU. You can press and hold on the file and then select Delete from the menu that appears. There may not be a SU file here depending on how you rooted your device. Press System X Bin. Delete the SU file here as well. Find and press system app. Delete the superuser.apk file. Reboot your device. The above method should unroot your device after you reboot. You can verify if you are unrooted by downloading and running the root checker app. If you don't have any root checker app, download it from the Play Store. Using SuperSU app. Launch the SuperSU app. If you haven't installed a custom recovery image, you should be able to use the Super SU app on your device to unroot. Tap the Settings tab. Scroll down to the Cleanup section. Tap Full Unroot. Read the confirmation prompt and then tap Continue. Reboot your device once Super SU closes. For most devices, this will perform the unroot. Some custom firmware images will automatically reroute the device when booting, rendering this process ineffective. Use an unroot app if this method fails. The universal unroot app, available on the Play Store, can unroot a lot of different Android devices. It costs 99 cents but can be very helpful. This app will not work for Samsung devices. For Samsung devices, watch my next upcoming video. Thanks for watching. If you got it helpful, please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next upcoming video.